everybody. I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's, uh, I say, exotic car video. And you say, Tom, well, that's a, it's a replica of a car. How can it be an exotic car? Well, most replicas are replicas of exotic cars that are way too expensive to drive on the road. Seeing one of these maybe in the coupe version of the original car would be pretty slim, right? There's so few of them. They sell for millions and millions of dollars. And that's why these, these cars, are amazing. This one in particular is one of only 39 built. One of only 39 built. Seeing one at a Cars and Coffee or a car show or something like that uh, would be pretty slim, I would imagine. And here we're talking about a car with less than 500 miles on it. Uh, I don't know. When we look at this car, you're going to be like, wow, that is a cool car. All right, so like I don't like to spend a lot of time talking about the design and looks of a car when a car already is so good looking in pictures and what have you. Peter Brock designed this car and the design has been timeless, right? Uh, and here we're, we've taken that design and made a car that you could drive on the street. We've cut the top off. Like for instance, like it's also a slight modern interpretation of the original Daytona to make it more street friendly. 17 and 18 inch staggered set of big wheels and tires, right? So the car already handles well with a great suspension. Not to mention that it's super light. And then little stuff like they kept the original vent system here to get the air out of uh, the engine compartment, right? And then here like a frameless windshield. This is super nice touch. These uh, bullet mirrors. And then when we open the hood, it's so detailed under the hood. Uh, I don't know, I get, I get all funny about it because these cars are awesome. They just are. Cobras and, and, and Daytona Cobra version of these as well are just really cool cars. Anyway, I wanna talk about paint because uh, you need to see this. This is done the proper way and I'll show you what I mean by that. First, let's look at the quality of the paint and meaning that we can see every letter in there nice and crisp. We can see what time it is. We can see all of those things. The crisper it is, uh, the letters, the better the paint quality. However, the second part is this right here where they've clear coated over the stripes. You can barely feel them, okay? And uh, it adds us that nice touch of making sure you can wash the car and those don't tear over time. If you look inside here, you get to see the big giant electric fan and radiator. It's very mechanical looking, the covered headlights, the big air duct in the front. I know, it's just super, super cool. All right, so come join me under here. This is amazing because you're going to go to a car show and people are going to want to see all of this stuff here. So we just finished uh, this up. I didn't put the breather on yet, but I wanted to get the valve covers on for the video. Here we have 306 cubic inches, almost 400 horsepower. But we're talking about the best parts inside. We're not talking about just dress up items. We're talking about Keith Black parts. We're talking about GT40 heads and we're talking about serpentine belt system, right? Uh, a lot of billet accessories here as well. The fuel injection system just looks spectacular. I mean, I don't know what it costs. Uh, quite honestly, I don't care really what it costs because the Borla injection looks so nice, works so well, you get power out of it. Tubular control arms, all the suspension is fully adjustable right here, right? Rack and pinion steering, aluminum shroud, aluminum radiator, all the good parts. However, none of that stuff is any good if it's not bolted to a real deal chassis. I want you to look down here and see the size of the tubing in here. The size of the tubing in here is enormous. This is a stiff car. Because it's a convertible, they were able to uh, make it eliminate some of that flex by giving you this big a frame. Maybe that's why they only made so many of them. It really, really does make a huge difference. And then lastly, uh, Josh wanted me to remind you that this exhaust is four into two on each side. So you're not getting just the sound of uh, mixing there. You're getting the sound of twin pipes on each side. And it definitely, definitely sounds different. You know, these cars were super aerodynamic in the coupe form, and they didn't have wind tunnels to test them. The design automatically made it a fast car down the straights. Here, they've designed in a rear spoiler so you didn't have to stick something on top of it. You get those great Daytona taillights, right? All of this is finished underneath as well. And then, uh, of course, we have gas here, which is this billet cap. And then we also have some storage, too. So if you wanted to take, like, some soft luggage, all that fits in here. The battery's easy to get to. Uh, fuel pump if you needed it, right? This has a bar that holds the trunk up if you wanted to do that. You're going to go to a car show. You're going to go somewhere people are going to want to see the details of these things. I just want you to be able to show them that this is really, really well put together. You're probably wondering why I have this in my hand right now. Well, what it does is it allows us taller people, right? Uh, to get in and out of these cars so much easier. We think about being six feet, six foot, one, two, three. This makes, look how easy uh, I'm able to get in. This clips right on here with a little on and you're ready to go. We got our forward facing shifter. A lot of people say, well, why is the shifter like that? Well, however, if the shifter was in the right spot here, every time you went to shift, right, you'd hit your elbow into the bulkhead back here. They gave that a lot of thought. 
there is a lot of room in here. You can go on a, a nice weekend trip. You can enjoy a car show. You can uh, uh, just enjoy the fact that you're not going to see another one driving around uh, right next to you on the road, right? We're talking about 10,000 RPM tech. We're talking about 160 mile an hour speedometer. And I am suggesting that you up your hair product because uh, this car here probably could hit 160, may even go faster than that. I don't know the answer to any of that, but it's definitely gonna make a wreck of your hair. All right, so we're gonna close up the video here. We talked about a lot of things. Let's do a quick recap of that. This is close to a $100,000 build when you think about it. We're talking about uh, $11,000 worth of fuel injection, $10,000 worth of engine, transmission for $6,000, like it goes on and on. Paint, $15,000, right? It goes on and on and on. And when you have a car like this with, a, with four or 500 miles and we're talking about uh, uh, a replica that's, I don't know, the likelihood of ever seeing one on the road ever again is really, really slim. My feeling is owning this car, the sound, the feel, and what have you, once you get inside here, is going to be spectacular. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this incredible uh, Daytona Spider replica. And if you don't mind, uh, click the like button there on there on the bottom of the video. Share it with your friends. And also subscribe to the channel because we're putting out new content all the time. All right, so the car is great looking. We already know that. But a sound is important, too. This is awesome. The sound is incredible. However, there's a bonus that comes with the sound and that's the fuel injection system as well. It adds for a snappy throttle. It adds to the fact that it doesn't matter whether it's cold out or hot out. It starts each and every time. So nice. And then the throttle, when you snap it, man, it is some kind of... That's not even 4,000 RPMs. down the road in the Daytona getting ready to run out of gas I'm just kidding we're just enjoying the, the windy roads so easy to drive this is amazing amazing you get this car man you're gonna love this car it drives so fabulous and sounds so good the pipes coming right out there it is some kind of special some kind of special sound